Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, may I have your attention, please? Um, we are about to start the conference. Um, the first session is uh, opening ceremony session. Dr. Hyunjin Lim, Professor Hyunjin Lim, will make the uh, opening remarks. Uh, please uh, give him a big the, uh, applause. As you know, the uh, President Hyun, uh, I always call him President. <laughs> well, uh, Professor Hyunjin Lim is currently the uh, pro Professor Emeritus of uh, Seoul National University. And actually, he is the president of uh, COSREC, which is the Korean Social Science Research Council. And most of all, he is the organizer of the conference. Uh, good morning, uh, Dr. Song Nak In, uh, president of Seoul National University, uh, distinguished scholars, guests, participating fellows, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm very much pleased and honored to welcome all of you who attend the International Conference on Asian Capitalism, jointly organized by the Seoul National University Asia Center and Korean Social Science Research Council. Uh, you know, autumn is around here, it is deepening. Uh, there is an old saying in Korea, 천고마비, sky is high and horses are fattening. Actually, uh, it comes from the uh, Chinese purpose, right? The Professor Lightning is there. Uh, it is really the uh, best season of year in Korea. Uh, however, what a pity that uh, we have fine dust from con the continent, so uh, we can see clear and blue sky, but I hope we can enjoy the beautiful colors on the mountain. Uh, as we agree, uh, we are now living in an era of Asia. Over the last few decades, Asia has shown remarkable developmental dynamism as compared to Europe and North America. Uh, despite some later achievement of industrialization and democratization, Asia now spearheads the world's most rapid transformation into the uh, 21st capitalism. In particular, China, Taiwan, South Korea, India, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Vietnam together play a crucial role in the global economy and international relations. Then, we are tempted to find out the underlying nature of Asian capitalism. In what ways does Asian capitalism converge on or diverge from the original model of Western capitalism? How can it define the regional and national commonality and diversity of capitalism among Asian countries. Can Asian countries' capitalism provide an alternative model to Western capitalism? These are some of the main questions we are going to ask during our conference. Uh, Professor Glenn Morgan uh, is here and he argues that uh, comparative capitalism studies have recently entered the third stage the first stage uh, initiated the so-called uh, variety of capitalism debates in advanced capitalist economies. The second stage was concerned with the interconnectedness between economic actors across national boundaries, such as uh, transnational corporations and international institutions like Asian, European Union, and World Trade Organization. And the third stage uh, conceives of 24th uh, capitalism as global. It focuses on the non-Western capitalist economies in Asia, uh, South America and Africa. Greeks, you know, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa would be good example. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that we have an excellent group of scholars and researchers from different countries would offer their knowledge and expertise to discuss a wide range of issues on Asian capitalism in terms of development policy, state society relations, government business nexus, labor market structure, industrial relations, corporate governance system, innovative entrepreneurship, and so on. I really expect that this international conference 
can provide a platform for all of us to work together more actively for developing new ideas and insights on Asian capitalism in the future. Uh, lastly, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the uh, members of the organizing committee, especially uh, Dr. Hong Song Man, uh, Dr. Kim Jong Chol, uh, Dr. Gong Sok Ki, uh, Dr. Nam Eun Young, uh, Dr. Yoon uh, Yeol Young, for their commitment and sacrifice in putting together uh, this wonderful conference. I think they are all here. Why don't you stand up? Eh? Please, please, please. Show yourself, please, please. You gave already a weekend. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope that you'll have an exciting and rewarding time during the conference. I wish you the very best. 감사합니다. 쉐쉐. 아리가도 고다이마시. Next, uh, let me introduce the uh, present uh, Song Nagin, Nagin Song of, of Seoul National University. Uh, present Song is educated in Paris two University. Uh, he got the uh, doctorate degree in law there, and the, uh, he has been uh, the president of, of professors in the uh, law school for a long time here at SNU. Uh, distinguished scholars around, who came from around the world. And, uh, I saw the foreign professors from the United States and Germany and, and also uh, Asian countries. And ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's my great pleasure to welcome all of you to the capitalism and capitalisms in Korea. I cannot un understand exactly what it means capitalism and capitalisms. <laughs> At any rate, it will be very important. Huh? <laughs> Conference at the Seoul National University Asia Center. I want to thank uh, Director uh, Myung-gu Kang of Asia Center and President Chen Jin of Korea Social Science Research Council. Uh, Professor Amrit Wonhuyun was also former president of this association. <laughs> uh, I have been, uh, I joined several times when he was president of this association at the, especially at Korean Hotel, perhaps, yeah. Uh, for organizing this timely conference on behalf of all community members of Seoul National University. Asia Center is a young research institute in my university. Uh, President Im is uh, founder of this institute. Uh, yet, it has already been recognized as one of the most important assets of the university. Since its establishment in 2009, the center has made tremendous achievement. It is simultaneous research community in and out of the university. I also would like to mention that uh, Course, uh, course rec will be Korea Social Science Research Council. Uh, course rec has been a catalyst to enhancing interdisciplinary work in social science in Korea. I imagine that they will continue to take on that role here at this conference. Thank you again for hosting this important conference at Seoul National University today. I understand that this conference is organized around critical questions for deepening our understanding on the Asian economy. As we all know, Asia is a very vibrant and dynamic region, increasing new 
acronyms like AIIB, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, RCEP, Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, TPP, Trans Pacific Partnership, and others reflect these active changes. However, the Asian economy is composed of various forms of capitalism This time is J. As so we need further investigation for better understanding of the Asian economy. In this sense, I think this conference is very timely. Many people say that the, the continuing growth of economy of Asia is crucial for the future of world economy. Furthermore, for the sustainability and peacemaking of the world, cooperation with Asia and between Asia and other parts of the world are essential. I presume that this is the rationale that brings us here together to assess the current status of capitalism in Asia and to discuss the future of it. I know that a single conference cannot answer all the questions we have. Therefore, I wish all participants that the next two days be a trigger to develop strong and sustained networks for continuing collaboration. I believe this meeting will provide an extraordinary opportunity to exchange and share knowledge that will help deepen our understanding on the Asian economy. I expect this meeting will lead to a stream of ideas to shed new light on great challenges Asia and the world are facing now. Lastly, I wish all of you that this meeting will be an opportunity to have a present experience of Korea's charm and taste. I hear that this Asia Center has made great preparations for this. And uh, you are now in uh, Asia Center, Yeongwon Hall. Uh, Yeongwon is a corporation, one of the most famous uh, clothes. Do you know North Space? North Space, no? North Space. Uh, the, the, uh, the owner of this uh, North Space has donated this one. <laughs> Whose family name is same with me? <laughs> Once again, my congratulations to go to Asia Center and Rec for hosting this important event and hope all of you have a chance to learn more about Korea and return home with good memories. Thank you.